I don't have bracket pulled up. Paxico, okay. We did have the name right. Looks like we're gonna have Pac-Man coming out for doubles. Pac-Man Game & Watch, so we are not doing cheek. Way off base, I guess. Way off base. Double Ganondorf. Interesting strategy. I mean, let chaos just be thrown into the wind. Instead of deciding games based on skill, let's just throw out hitboxes and see what magic we can make happen. If I'm being completely honest, you just fight for out of my um, I am quite surprised to see the double Ganondorf. Uh, I feel like EG... Oh! R&M, early <laughs> stock already! Okay, so Pac-Man moment. One thing you gotta take into account is that Jackson uh, R&M has the most game experience in the entire world. Like, not, uh, no, yeah, there's no one better at the Jackson than him. Uh, because Major and uh, R&M both live in the same little, bit, uh, little town. And they always play together. They can both rock and sing at the same time. So if anyone knows this matchup, it's going to be Jackson. An interesting strategy to go double Ganondorf against a person, probably with the best and most often game or Ganondorf experience, probably nearly in the world, I can oh, imagine. Absolutely. I mean, major in contention for the best uh, Ganon in the world right now, and you have him across the street from you in the little town of Cresswell. As an easy practice partner. Look at this. Everybody, uh, they're both at one stock. It's a, look at these six stocks right now. Uh, Mana and RM are looking very strong right now, holding their lead. And right now, it is looking very weak. Very, very weak. I think this, this, these are both very strong matchups for both Game of Watch and, uh, and Magic. It'll be interesting to see if uh, we're just taking this as a chance to just kind of have some fun with the game. Totally acceptable. Or if maybe uh, we're hoping to maybe take it a little bit more seriously in the next game with some uh, actual mains. Because as far as I know, I don't believe Strawberry plays Ganondorf. Uh, but I also don't know anything about Paxica. So maybe Paxica is a Ganondorf main. Maybe this just, <laughs> we're going to let it rock. I, I mean, I will honestly never complain about seeing Ganondorf. Oh, and he oh. got a shield broken! Oh, I saw And the armor so right <laughs> through it! <laughs> In, in, in spite of getting almost a I, I am a very, 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 A very famous YouTuber once said, it's not about winning, it's about sending a message. <laughs> and I think the message is sent, delivered, and read right now. Oh, absolutely. That was so legendary. Uh, was that that was that, 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 that was, uh, I think, I don't remember. I think, I think it was Strawberry, but there's, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Trying to look over and see if we can find out the stage we're looking at. Hovering over PS2 right now. And imagine, I mean, PS2, great double stage. It's pretty big. Yeah. Uh, platforms add a lot of variety to it. Uh, maybe the Ganondorfs want something smaller. Yeah. Just kind of throwing the chaos into the ring and just hoping you can make some magic happen. With a smaller space, I imagine both Game & Watch and uh, Pac-Man are just going to end up getting kind of ping pong balled across the stage with yeah. just big aerials that do a lot of damage and a lot of knockback. I really feel like that. Every single matchup, at least in every matchup we're getting, again, I've always wanted the same stage. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so uh, I, I, am, I'm, I'm never gonna say it, but like, I'm very right? But double, uh, double game north, it's a two of game north's hardest matchups. Is definitely never. Gonna yeah. Uh, looks like we're actually doing something on the stream side right now, which is what we're waiting for, uh, Diego over at the setup, playing around with something. It might be something audio related. I uh, haven't heard anything from the production side, but he's, he's tinkering. Thank you, production. Production, wave to the people. You see it in the background. Wave to the people. Or not, that's cool. There we go, waving to the people.
Well, while we're sitting here waiting, I'm gonna get chat pulled up and talk to the people for a moment. No one's chatting. Great. <laughs> then that means we're doing our job. Uh, We've left them stun locked. Are these also getting uploaded to Satellite Smash? Perfect. They can just rip the Twitch VOD. I'll, I'll yeah, you gotta like almost eat the microphone. Eat the microphone? You gotta eat the microphone. Can, They're so yummy. Right now. I'm, not, I'm not gonna say that. I gotta remember that I am in a very kid-friendly zone in a very kid-friendly game. It's a party game. Okay, you gotta in chat only, bro? There we go. What's up, people? Looks like we got nine people in chat right now. What's up? Welcome. Should be a great event today. A lot of competition. I mean, size-wise, it's probably the same as a duck hunt, but skill level. You've got a lot of your top eighters for duck hunt seated to go like 2-2 two -two today. Very, very, very big jump today. I mean, as far as uh, skill level in Eugene, I'd say that there's a very, very large gap between the talent that we have, that, that we brought in, or that, that are coming to visit, and our local Eugene PR, right? Um, I mean, and we see that in the, in the seating too, you know? How, yeah. Um, I, I want to say that Draymond is the highest non-state but Eugene PR player. Is that Actually, Mello. Mello. Mello is the highest seated Eugene player, but uh, is seated to play in Everest. I think it was done to avoid conflict. Okay, that's fair. So uh, I think they've swapped where Everest and Mello seeds were supposed to be, so that way it would avoid a conflict earlier in bracket, but Everest would still end up like where he was supposed to be. Yeah, okay. So um, Mello is actually the highest seated, but yeah, I would imagine, I think it's Mel er, Mello... Draymond and Tectonic are highest seeded uh, Eugene players. All of them very capable of making a okay. pretty crazy run today. So it'd be interesting to see if uh, any of them make it happen. I'm personally rooting for them. But that's my I Eugene mean, bias. What can we, I say? <laughs> we always like the hometown heroes, you know. And I mean, that, that, that's kind of why we always support Major when he goes out when he goes out to all these tournaments, right? As like kind of our local boy, small town hero, low tier main. Uh, the dude recently went to France. You know, UFA. UFA. He got 33rd at one of the biggest European tournaments of all time. And, oh, lights are Mood out. lighting. This is um, setting the mood, one could say. Then you turn the lights back on for a flashbang on the crowd. <laughs> so I have an update on what's going on. So one of the picture settings on one of the monitors is a little off, and the coloration is different, and one of the players is not happy with that, so... Uh, we're trying to fix the issue right now. Shucks. So it looks like there's a little bit of delay trying to figure out monitor settings. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to see from our end. So I we don't have much of a view of the screens. They look the same. But I don't doubt that there's some discoloration that's like making it hard, especially when you're playing characters like Ganondorf, <laughs> who kind of like... Ganondorf on FD sometimes just blends into that background. Yeah. And the fact that you yeah, that you're playing a game with two Ganondorfs on the screen, it makes it increasingly difficult just to see who is who is who, you know? R and M phoning a friend right now on his cell phone. Phoning a Walking friend. Walking away from the setup. It seems like we're gonna have a more serious uh, delay here. Okay. Uh, Use his first of his <laughs> lifelines, we'll see if he keeps the rest of them for the rest uh, of the bracket. Wait, does this count as coaching in between sets? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh wait a minute. Uh, judge, the time to uh, the, the head CEO. Get Del Fuego. Okay, but, but like the real question is, if you call your parents in between your sets, or like in between games, does that count as mid-set coaching? Or maybe it's just a morale boost. Morale boost? Okay. That's Sometimes true. you gotta make sure mom's doing okay at home. <laughs> and, and that's definitely more important. <laughs> She's at home stirring the stew for when you get oh, home. I love my mother and my dad. I, you know what? I think I'm gonna do that today. Imagine like the blow it'll do to your opponent when you're like. Uh, you win a game, like, okay, hold on, I'm gonna call someone. You just call your mom, like, hey mom, I love you, and then hang on. Hi mommy, I hate Captain Falcon. <laughs> we all hate Captain Falcon here. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what this guy sitting next to me is doing right now. <laughs> he wants to show me his, he wants me to show, uh, he wants me to show my moves. I don't want to show my moves, I just want to play the game. Uh, we also got a little bit of a slideshow on the, uh, screen right now. It looks like it's slowly getting resolved. Oh, well. Uh, a lot of power for this computer today. A lot of power. It's okay. Uh, by the way, I just want to shout out our uh, local tech guy, Hunter, aka Killer Shark, Killer Shark and Hawk. 
Um, he's uh, a senior at the University of Oregon this year. Uh, Digo asked him to help produce. Um, for resuming, I'm still giving you a shout out though. Um, <laughs> uh, Diego Competitor is yapping right now. Diego, Diego asked Hunter to uh, produce the stream setup about like a month ago, and in between finals and the final assignments, Hunter has absolutely delivered and he's been doing a great job so far, and I've, I'm I'm very happy for him. Passing the mic to production real quick. I words. will. I will say I am a little unhappy that um, some of the webcams are so laggy because we had no choice but to daisy chain them with like four USB cables. So that's what's happening. It's that's why it's bandwidth. laggy. Yeah, we had no other choice because we just did not have the USB cable for it. We were just at Walmart. Uh, <laughs> we asked. Okay, that's that's a production L. Production now. That's not our fault. We went to Walmart. We just asked, is there anything you need? No. Yeah. So like, we get we get we get to the venue, right? And um, uh, we both Cody and I were roommates, and like, oh hey, we want to get some breakfast. Uh, but then we didn't have time to get to get breakfast before the venue. And then Diego shows up. He's like, we mentioned going to go to, to go to Walmart or something. And, and Diego's like, hey, you guys want to go get an HDMI cord for me? I'm like, yeah. And so we go to Walmart, get the HDMI cord, and he just completely forgot to tell us all the other stuff that he needs. Um, but it's okay. We're having a great time here. I got my goldfish. Cody got his protein bars. Um, I got my caffeine. Uh, and, yeah. Running into game two now. Moving on. Uh, running it back PS2. So maybe a character switch. We're going to find out right now. Are we sticking with the double Ganon? Okay, this is very okay. I know Mana is a very dedicated game. And I see a Mana. Samus. Okay. And I see a Mewtwo. Okay. Samus and Mewtwo. Here we go. So we got gloves off. Gloves scrapping. No one's scrapping here. It'll be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Uh, no one's scrapping. You're right. Okay. Okay. Uh, how long do you think this game is gonna last? Uh, four minutes. Doubles. Four minutes. Okay. It's doubles. Well, we will see. Uh. I think we see, at this point, we see just a classic doubles thing. It's no longer the chaos that we had in the first game, where both players try to, I guess, isolate the other. Um, and it's working out pretty well. Um, we have Strawberry on uh, Dark Samus and Paxka on Mewtwo. And, oh, yeah, that's that's going to be death for Mewtwo. Oh, no, he saves double jump. He saved Anyways. Ooh, big forward smash, taking both the opponents right there with a single blow. Uh, it seems like right now we're kind of employing that uh, just 1v1 on half the stage strategy. Just cut the stage in half, I'll take my guy, you take your guy, mm -hmm. and we got it. Uh, working pretty well out for red team right now, R&M and Mana. Uh, really showing their worth right now and why they were so dominant in that first game. Yeah. Uh, I, we're going to hope that Strawberry and Paxka can kind of keep up at this point. Yeah, I think Strawberry's doing a good job. He just took a stock off of uh, Mana. And, oh, that's a, that's a noise. Um, and I think I'm, I'm really excited to see how Paxka and Sam um, and Strawberry adapt to the play. Although, David Watch down air, finally taking the stock hit there. Paxka, good move. Who knew? <laughs> Pascal taking two, very, uh, losing two of, uh, very early stocks. I want to say that he died at uh, 70% and then he died at 60%. And that's very, very difficult for Mewtwo to come back from. And Strawberry doing his best. Uh, Game of Watch getting the spike. And now we're looking at two spot, uh, two stocks of Pete, uh, one stock for both Strawberry and Pascal. I mean, you think about the character switch and how much like extra practice you might have with your character and it just doesn't seem to be enough for this team right now. Mm -hmm. uh, one stock difference between the last stock situation in the first game and now in the second game. Yeah. This is looking like a pretty clear uh, mana and RM dub, but and you never know. Yeah, we saw mana just hit the uh, classic down smash and the forward smash. This is still a stock at another especially early stock. Um, and now we just see what Game Watch is really good at and that's ledge trapping. Uh, Luckily, Strawberry is able to get away. Oh, <laughs> RM messing it up on the uh, berry. It's touching tips right there. It's crazy. And Game and Watch with the classic up B. It's really difficult for Samus to make that back, especially with two really good edge guards. And looks like RM and Mana take the take the take the set 2-0. It is best of three, right? Uh for doubles. Best of three? Best okay. two of three. Okay, word. For doubles. Uh 
Dominant. Nothing else to say besides dominant. Paxka. Paxka. Mewtwo did those later? Let's go. <laughs> ARM. <laughs>